All right, so I am going to uh, attempt to solve the following problem. It asks to give a combinatorial proof that n choose k is equal to n minus 1 choose k plus n minus 1 choose k minus 1. Uh, the key here is we want a combinatorial proof. That means we're going to uh, pick a set and count it in two different ways. One way that we'll count it, we'll get the left-hand side. The other way, we'll get the right-hand side. So uh, here we go. So the, the set I'm going to choose to count is going to be uh, bit strings of length n. So uh, I'm going to write, let us count bit strings Of length n and what a bit string is it's just uh, a bunch of zeros and ones so it's it's just like a binary string and there are n coordinates now uh, for the left hand side uh, so, so maybe I'll say what we were counting so maybe I'll say uh, let us count the number of bit strings of length n, and I'll say with k uh, ones. You could also do zeros. So here, this has uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this has five ones. And um, the left hand side, we know n choose k is exactly this number. Because what n choose k represents is if I have n objects, uh, choose k of them. How many ways? So if I have n objects here, so if I have n here, what n choose k says is how many ways are, is there to choose? Uh, so n choose k is uh, pick k of these. And the idea here is the k that you pick represents the ones. So maybe you pick your ones to be here, right? So here we chose four. So we, so i.e. pick four. But I, I couldn't have just picked these four. There are n choose k, n choose four ways I could have four and uh, the right hand side is where it's become interesting because uh, now we have something that involves addition so the idea is we want to break up how we're going to uh, do this so the idea here is uh, consider a bit string of length n. So we're going to consider one of length n. If we look at the first entry, so if we look at the first entry, there's either going to be two cases. The first case is going to be uh, first entry is a one. So our bit string is going to look something like this. So here, this is n things, and here, this is n minus 1 things. And the idea is, if you look at this first position, how many bit strings that begin with a 1, if you look at bit strings of length n that begin with a 1, how many are there that have uh, k 1s? Well, if, we're, if, if we want k1s, well, we have one one right here. So we need, the idea is we're going to need k minus one ones in this area, everywhere except that first one. So we need, and how many bit strings are there of this? There are exactly, well, we have n minus one different places because this place is already filled out and we need k minus 1. So there are n minus 1 choose k minus 1 
bit strings uh, of length n that have k1s uh, that start with a1. So th that's the first case. But this doesn't capture all of them, because what happens if the first entry is 0, what happens is you're going to get something like this. There's a 0. You have n things here. You have n minus 1 things here. And what you need is you, you now need, since there's a 0 here and we want k, you're going to need, you need k1s in these n minus 1. So that tells us there are n minus 1 choose k bit strings of length n with uh, k ones that start with 0. So that start with 0. And the, the idea is these two are separate, or disjoint, that is. Because you can't have a bit string that starts with a 1. You can't have a bit string that starts with... If you have a bit string that starts with a 1, well, it doesn't start with the 0. And if you have a bit string that starts with a 0, it doesn't start with a 1. So all of these are th different than all of these. Furthermore, you have that these are all such bit strings, because bit strings will either start with a 0 or a 1. Therefore, these two cases give us all the bit strings. So this tells us that n choose k, the number of bit strings with of length n with k ones is equal to n minus one choose k plus n minus one choose k minus one, because th these are bit strings of length n with k ones, and we just saw through this that uh, it's exactly the same as bit strings that start with one. Uh, of length n who have uh, k1s. So this here is going to correspond with this one. And the n minus 1 choose k is going to correspond with this one. Thanks for watching.